Amazon brand registry is something that I recommend to every seller because having a trademark, having a brand name and having that brand name registered on your Amazon account is super super important for you because it can actually unlock too many branded features of Amazon on your seller center. Like if you're not having brand registry then you can start selling but you cannot scale your business to the next level and compete with your top competitors. Because the branded feature they are using you will not be able to use them and somehow you will left behind in that race. So if you want to make more profit, if you want to grow unlimited then a brand registry is a must for you because if you're having brand registry you will be having the access of multiple new features which any unbranded seller will not have like you can upload videos on your product listing you can upload a plus content on your listing you can have your own personalized storefront on amazon you can use your brand name on your listing you can put your brand logo on your packaging and you can run your branded sponsored ad which can actually bring traffic from amazon website to your amazon store so you can get sales on all of your products so these are some of the main top features of brand registry which i have just told you right now but there are hundreds of other features and benefits as well which i cannot explain in one video so in short if you want to grow your amazon account too fast and stand out in the competition so you must have to get a trademark which will cost you between three to four hundred dollars and after getting the trademark you don't have to hire anybody to file your brand registry because in this video i'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process with the help of which you can actually apply for your amazon brand registry by yourself with the help of only a trademark number no matter your trademark is registered or pending, you can still follow that process step by step and apply for the brand registry free of cost. And if your logo, trademark and everything is good, then you can actually get the whole process done within less than 48 hours. So this video is going to be super super helpful for you. So make sure to watch this video till the end step by step without skipping any part. Because if you learn that, so you can apply for your brand registry yourself. But if you don't learn that, then you might be able to hire someone and you have to pay them a large amount of money to only complete that process for you. But before getting started, if you are tired of the daily grind, then let's build the life of freedom together. Join my Facebook group where people of all ages are actually learning how to create passive income by online selling and affiliate marketing with no money. And after joining that Facebook group, you can just shoot me up the message. Then as per your condition, I will guide you the exact roadmap that will actually work. Because if you are not able to make money online yet, that means you are just watching YouTube videos, you are having too many information in your mind and you don't know where to start. So if you learn from my proven strategies which actually work, then you will be able to achieve your goal. So let's start your journey today. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I'm on my laptop right now. And from here, I have opened Google and I search Amazon brand registry on Google. So after searching that, you can see these two links. From here, you need to click on this first link says Amazon brand registry. So when I click on that link, you can see that I'm on the page where it says launch your brand on Amazon. So basically, this is a page where you can actually get enrolled in the brand registry program. So if you want, you can actually read that page and check out what benefit you will get if you will enroll your brand into Amazon, right? So in order to enroll the brand, you need to fill out a simple form. And for that, you have to go up. And from there, you can see these two options. Number one, enroll your brand. And number two, log into brand registry. So basically, if you are new and doing it for the first time, then you have to click on this first one called enroll your brand. So as soon as you click on that button, you will redirect to this new page. And the link of this page will be brandregistry.amazon.com, right? So from there, you can see that this is a page and I've already logged into my Amazon Seller Central. That's why I can see this page. But if you're not, then it might ask you for the email and password of your Amazon account, right? So after putting that email and password, you will be able to see this welcome to brand registry page. And from there, you can just read the terms and click on. Then after reading that terms, you can click on accept and continue. And then you will be redirected to the second page, which is basically your Amazon brand dashboard. So from this page, you can see it is giving you option to enroll a new brand. And if you go up, you can see these two tabs on top like manage and support so if you click on manage so you can see there you will be having two options here number one enroll a brand and number two brand application so basically if you have already submitted an application before so you can check the status of that from brand application but if you are enrolling a new brand then you have to click on this enroll a brand and the second option is support so if you click on this support so you can see two options here number one brand support case lock and number two help center so basically from today when you're opening a new case for the brand and later on when you will be having any trouble regarding brand issues like trademark or maybe you need to remove any hijacker or any problem or benefit regarding brand registry then you have to open the case from here not from the old case lock from amazon seller central right so basically this was just for information but for now we have to click on this manage and click on this enroll up brand so as soon as you click on this button you will be able to see this form and all you have to do is complete that form fill out the information information about your brand, your trademark, your images and then submit that form. So after submitting that form, if all of your information will be correct, then your application will be approved in 24 hours and then you will become an official brand on Amazon 
and you will be able to access all of those features which all of the big brand can actually have. So from there you have to click on this first one called enroll your brand because the second one is called IP accelerator program and it will cost you a lot because in that case Amazon will actually file a trademark for you and do all of the steps for you. So the first one is cheaper one like free of cost. All you have to do is you have to fill out the form with your trademark number, your brand name and some photos of your product having your brand name on it. And then from here you have to just fill out the form. So one by one I am basically putting all the information and then after after filling out the information I have to submit that form right so here I have to write the brand name and then upload some photos of your product having your brand name on it so click on upload and after putting your product photo having your brand name you have to select the country where you have registered a trademark so in this case the country is Canada so let's find out Canada and then here you have to put the trademark number and then click on verify then you have to scroll down and select your product category in which you are selling your product then put your product ASIN and then upload some images of your product having your brand logo on it right so let's just select the category in this case I am selling in kitchen category so I have to find out the kitchen and then put the ASIN and click on add oops it is saying an error like ASIN you provided was not from basically uh, because the market is .com I have to change it uh, because my market is .ca so amazon.ca and then click on add so here you can see that my ASIN has been added and then from here in this field if you have a website you can just paste the link otherwise if you don't have it's optional right so after adding your product in the next section you have to upload the images so click on upload select the images and then upload them so here you can see that all of the images have been uploaded and before moving on to the next step so almost the form is completed only one step left which i forgot so if you scroll on the top of this page in the second section you can see this upload a brand logo tab so basically in this section you have to upload your brand logo and then fill out the rest of the form okay so after filling out that form putting the logo putting the brand name putting asin and images all you have to do is click on next so basically it is not going to the next step because i am getting an error upside here and i think here it is not proceeding to the next step because uh, uh, i have got an error right now here so basically it is not accepting the trademark so i have to select something here like in this section i have to select pending because my trademark is right now pending not registered and in the second step I have to select word mark because it's a trademark not a design mark and then in the third part I have to select this option yes I own the trademark and then it says upload a copy or proof of trademark ownership so I have to upload a copy so here I can just simply upload the screenshot of that email which I received when I submit the trademark application right so click on upload so here's the trademark application click on open so here you can see that I have uploaded the document here and then I think everything is completed on that page like I have put the logo in that form put the application screenshot my ASIN product images and brand name so after filling out all of the information I have to go down and click on next in this enroll your brand form I have completed the first step which was brand information and now I'm on a second step which is business information so this second page is super simple like you can see that it is asking for selling account information like I'm only having three options like if I'm a seller I'm a vendor or neither so obviously I'm a seller so I have to check that and then from there I have to select the country in which I'm selling so here in this case it's Canada and then I have to scroll down and click on next so now this is the last part of this application and it says manufacturing and distribution information so basically if i'm a seller and i'm purchasing my product from any manufacturer in china or any other country so i'm only a seller not a manufacturer so in this page i have to explain that like i'm only selling this product and i'm not the manufacturer but if in your case if you're the manufacturer yourself then you can fill out this page as per your requirement right so in this page you can see there are some option like number one i have my own manufacturing setup with manufacturer majority of other product and number two i have an agreement contract relationship with third party manufacturer which manufacture my product so in this case i have to select this one and then here i have to upload any of the invoice or document which i got after purchasing or placing any order to that manufacturer so basically any invoice will work here which contain my name my brand name and that company name so basically that invoice will work as a partnership document between me the seller and the manufacturer right so after selecting that you have to upload that document and then you have to scroll down and in this section distribution information you have to click does your brand sell to distributor no because i'm selling my product as private label and i'm not selling to any distributor and then in the next step i have to select a country in this case it's uh, canada and then in the last step license information like it is asking for does your brand license trademark to other no and then after putting out all of the information all i have to do is click on submit and then wait for 24 hours so if all the information which i have submitted here was correct like my brand name my brand logo and trademark number and everything else then my application will be accepted in 24 hours 
and I will be registered as a brand seller and I will be registered as a brand on Amazon website and then I will be able to avail all of those features which all of the big brands on Amazon are availing. So after watching this video, go there, follow the steps and file for your brand registry by yourself. So that's it for today guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.